look at these requests that i've got on my whatsapp and uh, email uh, so most of the people ask me is how to review gtfc all these things it is not about how to score effectively in gt it is about how to review gt effectively most of the people they make mistake is in uh, the time that they consume in reviewing a gt it might take one day two days sometimes even one week to review a gt okay so this is not the correct method to review a gt also many people uh, realize this mistake later on that they have not revised gt effectively that's why their exam scores are low so it is very important that reviewing gt carries the most significance in uh, preparing for neat pg exams yeah, on youtube you'll find hundreds of videos on how to uh, improve your gt scores even i had released one video in which i have told all effective techniques this is the part two okay on how to review after uh, improving your scores so on there are very few videos on how to review a gt so today we'll be seeing how to review a gt so hello i am dr rmd i am pediatric resident at pgimer dr rml hospital new delhi and i had secured rank of 838 in my first attempt in neat pg and that too by smartly giving gt and reviewing it smartly so before proceeding ahead i have to tell you two important golden rules of giving uh, of reviewing gt okay without these two rules we can't proceed and rule number 1 that is the first law of gt review is if you can't review gt then don't give gt as straight forward as it okay and second law of gt review is following two conditions are to be satisfied if following two conditions are satisfied then you have to bookmark that question or pearl okay these two conditions are very important to know if any topic is important or not and the first thing is if it is a pyq or it is answered by more than 50% of the students correctly okay and second rule is it is memory based topic so these two must be satisfied to bookmark a question or pearl okay so using these two laws we'll see how to review gt properly so now the million dollar question is how to review gt in 5 hours so in any app if you go you will get this following uh, options when you review a gt okay so one is all that is you will go through all the questions second you will get is correct option okay there are four important parameters that we need here one is how many correct you have attempted how many wrong how many skipped and how many guessed correct using these four parameters we will be seeing on how you will be reviewing gt in 5 hours okay so so what is the order that you have to follow when you review gt it is very wrong when students go from question number 1 to question number 200 no you will never finish it okay so if you go from starting to end it is not at all necessary so you will you should be very smart in your preparation you should be dedicating correct amount of time to each of the topics so what you have to do first first you have to divide uh, questions into two categories that is wrong plus skipped and correct okay so in our first part of the gt review we will be discussing wrong and skipped questions and in the next part we will be discussing all the correct answers collectively okay this is done to save time so first you have to select the subject okay for example anatomy okay so always it is uh, always it is uh, uh, smart to go from rank building subject then rank maintaining and then rank deciding what is rank building what is rank maintaining and what is rank deciding it is discussed in my previous video on how to improve your gt scores you can go back and watch on the comment uh, the link is in the description of this video and in the comment section so first you have to go from rank building subject then to rank maintaining and rank deciding and in rank building subject for example anatomy is a rank building subject so first you will be seeing the skipped questions so after this skipped see this skipped and you can also select the subject in which you want to go through skipped questions okay after that you will be going through the wrong questions and then you will be going through correct options okay so you will your priority will be like this okay in this order so now what are the things that you need for reviewing gt is you should have all notes within your hands reach okay suppose you are sitting here and you are reviewing gt then everything should be uh, there when you uh, are going to uh, review that particular question okay you need your notes also and you will need a 20th notebook or a gt book also this is also very necessary so now the first thing is why do you start with skip questions okay what is the logic behind skip questions to know that we should first know why do students skip questions what is why do you skip the questions okay so there are two types of skip questions okay one is where you didn't cover that topic or subject which means you have not touched that topic that way that's why you have skipped the questions okay so if you have skipped such type of question then you have to see whether it is an important question or not it is very wrong if you do if you have not done a subject and you and you have skipped a question and then you don't review it it is really wrong 
the reason is because if it is an important question maybe you will not study that subject in future also okay or that topic then you will permanently leave that subject okay so this is this part in review is done to avoid that mistake okay so if it is important so how do you know it is important if it it is answered by more than 50 percent of the students correctly or it is a pyq remember the second law of gt reviewing second law of gt reviewing says that any topic is important if it is one answered by more than 50 percent of the students correctly second if it is a pyq okay then you have to review this thing so second is if the question was tough but you had studied that topic okay so question was tough and then you had studied that topic but still you skipped it so now you have to see important thing is why did you skip it was it a numerical question which is a fact based or it was some random fact based question okay if it is not a pyq or important question and it was a numerical or fact based question and very few students have made it right then you can actually skip this question okay you don't have to review this question at all okay which means it is some a random fluke okay so you don't have to go back and uh, see uh, see that thing at all okay so there will in every gt there is at least five questions okay five five questions that are like this uh, like this uh, fact based random which no one has got it right not a pyq so you can just skip those questions you don't have to review those questions okay so next thing is why to review skipped questions first okay this let's answer okay that is because the worst prognostic marker in a gt is skipped questions i always say this if you have skipped question that is the worst thing that can happen to you other than more than five questions this in this category okay which is not a pyq which is a random fact which is a numerical other than that you shouldn't be skipping questions at all okay so skip questions only numerical or some random fact is acceptable other than that you shouldn't skip questions skip question means you have portions left okay so skipped question should be less than 10 percent maximum that you can go is 20 questions but more than 20 questions should never be skipped so time for skipped questions is also around 20 percent of the total time that is out of five hours you can give maximum one hour okay and if you go question wise you shouldn't dedicate more than three minutes per question so maximum three minutes per question okay the reason is simple because this skip questions if they are important or they are pyq or if other people are answering more than you that means that you need to go to that topic and you should study it immediately or else you will never study it okay so this is the first rule of gt reviewing if you don't review questions properly then don't give gt so next next we'll go to the wrong questions okay also one more note is that if you uh, have less number of skip questions like suppose five skip, skip questions then you will you will have extra time to review your wrong questions okay that is one benefit next now going to wrong questions before going to wrong questions the first thing that you should realize is why do you commit mistakes why do gt mistakes happen even after you study so there are five types of mistakes okay there are five types of mistakes first mistake is a silly mistake means you studied you remembered the thing but you didn't read the whole question or options so it was a silly mistake okay it is not like you didn't read it you read it you know it you remembered it but you made a mistake while reading the options okay these are totally preventable mistakes and how to be what is the solution for this there is no solution <coughs> you have to be alert next time and you have to revise these explanations whatever is given in the review very quickly okay so that you don't want to waste much time maximum time that you can allot is one minute per question more than that don't allow it okay second type of mistake is memorization mistake so memorization mistake means you studied okay but you are not remembering the thing okay whatever you studied for example developmental milestones you studied it but and at the exam time uh, when you are giving gt you are not remembering what are the developmental milestones at that age okay so what is the solution for this if it is a pyq or it is answered by more than 50 percent of the students correctly then you have to bookmark it or you have to enter it in the 20th notebook or you should highlight in your notes basically the uh, solution is that these things you will anyways forget no matter how many times you read so it is of utmost importance before giving next gt or before giving upcoming neat pg you should make sure that you revise this one day ahead or on the day of the gt or exam okay so these are those memorization topics second is if it is uh, like uh, or if it is not a pyq or if it is not answered by more than 50 percent of the students correctly or if it is a random fact which no one has asked before okay then just skip it you don't have to review it at all okay so what is the maximum time you can give for memorization mistake it is just one minute why one minute because you have to just see how many mistakes are uh, like what is the mistake which topic it is and just highlight or bookmark you don't have to study these things okay next 
third type of mistake is concept based mistake okay when your concept is wrong even after studying for example urea cycle defect this is the best example okay like urea cycle defect is there and then you don't remember the concept concept at all you don't know which compound is next you don't know what comes next which are the uh, reactions that are happening okay or which are the syndromes associated so what is the solution for this for this is watch your videos or go through your notes strengthen your concept okay if it is a pyq or repeat gt question solve that respective qbank module whole module okay so urea cycle defect solve the whole qbank module so that uh, how many times uh, the more the number of times you are solving that question the better will be your retention or bookmark that pearl okay and for this you can dedicate up to 5 minutes per question okay so 5 minutes you can dedicate for concept based because the better you are thorough with the concept the more is the chance that you are going to get it right in the upcoming gt fourth type is confusing options mistake okay for example culture media versus organisms so there are culture media organisms you get confused between one or two options or next is vector versus organism best example is rickettsia rickettsia is caused by which organism and what is a vector and third is mechanism mechanism of action of drugs like penicillin drugs okay well, there are different uh, levels at which they act so this can be confusing it is not like you didn't read it it is not like you are going to forget it okay it is just like it will be confusing at at the exam uh, during the exam only you will forget it okay so what is the solution for this solution for this type of mistakes is mnemonics and whenever you are reviewing in gt with this type of questions get a study partner and make funny mnemonics okay i realized that i had made these mistakes and these mistakes were uh, making my rank to come down okay like four or five questions were like this only and i had made continuously repeated mistakes in that so me and my gt partner we started making funny mnemonics in this okay so once we started making funny mnemonics for this then we started remembering this for a very long time including for net pg exam so what is the time that you can dedicate you can dedicate up to 3 minutes per question for this confusing questions okay and what is the last type of mistake fifth type of mistake is integrated question mistake this happens when your different subjects are not integrated properly and what is the solution for this you have to watch integrated videos okay videos are enough because you don't have to solve sub questions separately videos are enough in that only they'll tell which are the important question that are uh, integrated okay so we'll see with example okay? Uh, first one uh, see this question okay so this is a case of ochronosis okay D when i gave the exam i knew that this is a case of ochronosis okay so nothing to worry in this okay so but i made a sim silly mistake here that is because this was a disorder of tyrosine metabolism and in the option it was tryptophan metabolism okay so this is a silly mistake so for silly mistake what am i supposed to do i have to do nothing i have to see if there is any extra information that i have to learn and then i'll just go to next question so i'll dedicate less than 1 minute for this question i'll not bookmark this i'll not bookmark this okay because i know this already see the second question this is mainly a memorization based question okay so in memorization based question what i have to do i have to ask two questions one is whether it is important or whether it is a pyq how do i know it is important if more than 50% of the students have answered it correctly so how many have answered 71% have answered which means this is important so what will i do i'll not waste much time i'll dedicate maximum 3 minutes for this and i'll go through the explanation i'll see what it is i'll mark it in my notes i'll highlight so that next time when i come i don't forget this thing okay so my main op oh, um, the, my main thing now is not to memorize this question permanently my main target now is to highlight it somewhere either bookmark or highlight in my notes or write it in my gt or uh, mistake book okay or the 20th notebook so that before giving next uh, next gt i don't commit this mistake again okay so see this question see this is a question based on concept okay unless you know lipid metabolism you are not going to answer this you should know all compounds so this is a concept based question i will dedicate up to 5 minutes for this question i'll go back to my notes if i have doubt i'll watch video also to get my concept cleared okay so unless my concept is cleared i can't answer this question okay so this is a concept based mistake see this question dna mismatch repairs okay dna repair defects so what is the problem with this i knew all this but i had confusion between the options like whether zero derma pigment pigmentosa is which option okay that's why i committed this mistake okay so what is this this is a repeating confusing option type of mistake okay so what will i do here i'll do a mnemonic i'll do a funny mnemonic so that i don't forget this at all and i'll also bookmark this pearl so that i don't forget it this is an important pearl okay so these are the four types of mistake that you get okay integrated question mistake you know anyway so this is how you proceed with wrong answers okay next 
write all your relevant mistakes in this GT book or your 20th notebook. Okay, so that after before giving next GT, you can just review it before giving next GT. Okay, or bookmark these pearls or questions. Okay, and you have to revise this before next GT. Only then your GT marks will improve and your reviewing will have some meaning. Okay. So what about correct answer? So now what you have done? You have selected subject wise. Okay, first rank building, then rank maintaining, and then rank deciding. In rank building, for example, anatomy, you have gone through uh, skipped questions first, and then you have gone through wrong options, uh, wrong questions. Okay, once that is done, you will come to physiology. Physiology, skipped questions, wrong questions. Then you will come to uh, uh, third question, biochemistry. Okay, in biochemistry, you will see uh, wrong uh, skipped questions, wrong questions. Okay, so you will do this for 19 subjects. and then at the end what will be left you will be left with all corrects okay correct of correct answers of all 19 subject so this correct of all 19 subjects you will be revising it together in one go okay so how to review correctly answered question there are three type of correctly answered questions okay so if you think logically there are three types one is true correct pseudo correct and guess correct okay these are the terms that i gave okay true correct means you apply the correct logic and your answer is correct pseudo correct means you applied wrong logic but still your answer is correct for some other reason and guess correct is it was just based on your instinct you didn't apply logic or anything you felt like gut feeling says that this might be the answer and you applied and that came to be correct okay so there was no logic and but still the answer is correct so how to review first is in guess correct Uh, main thing is you have to clear your concepts okay unless you clear your concept or you memorize or you bookmark uh, you, uh, you are not going to uh, clear your thing okay so you can dedicate up to 3 minutes and you add this thing to your gt book okay or your 20th notebook or your gt mistakes wherever you write you add this because these questions are the ones which you can get it wrong in your upcoming gt so it is very important that you clear your concept for these things okay for guess correct actually in maro app uh, you ha- you'll have that separate uh, filter okay like guess correct so you can directly go into that okay so you'll get guess correct of all your 19 subjects next pseudo correct and true correct for pseudo correct you have to just clear your concept okay not more than 2 minutes for each question and for true correct which means you know everything you have answered it right don't waste your time if there is an extra information only you see or else you just you can just skip it even if you don't review this also it's fine because you know that you are correctly you have uh, answered it correctly okay so there is no doubt regarding it okay So, what is the total time that you need to dedicate at the end of everything for skipped question? Maximum one hour or three minutes per question, not more than that. If it takes more than that, just note it down in your in your notes or somewhere that you have to study this topic. Last time you had skipped, and next time you should not skip this topic. Okay? For wrong questions, you can dedicate maximum three hours, five minutes for silly mistakes. Five minutes means not five minutes per question. Total five minutes for silly silly mistakes. Okay? Thirty minutes for memorization based. because in memorization based i told you can dedicate only 1 minute per question okay 1 to 2 minutes not more than that 45 minutes for concept based even if you dedicate more time for concept based question it is okay because you are going to gain at the end of the day okay 45 minutes for confusing option again it is worth it even if you dedicate more also it's fine because if you make yourself clear for that question you will not commit that mistake again and one hour for integrated type like if you have many questions which are integrated type because recent gts are all integrated type questions only then you can dedicate up to one hour so totally you will get this around 3 hours and for correct op- correct answers you can guess, uh, dedicate 30 minutes for that guess correct and uh, pseudo correct and rest 30 minutes for the rest of the correct answers okay so if you review this gt in this manner you will uh, finish within 5 hours and then 5 uh, to 6 hours maximum and then you can uh, dedicate your rest of the time okay rest of the time whatever you have you can dedicate it for your studies okay so this is smart approach for reviewing gts okay so failure is nothing more than a chance to re- revise your strategy so wherever you fail it is very important that you note uh, you should realize you should change your strategy so once you have done all this analysis then you have to go back to that gt tracker that i told about in my previous video so there you have to plot this how many correct you have got okay for each subject and it will automatically take the percentage and then you will know whether you, you are in that safe zone or not okay so then you have to improve on those particular subjects so my upcoming video will be based on mcq solving skills okay so i think that is one of the most demanded video so i'll make a video on that so that it will be easy for you to solve mcqs in gts and if you haven't watched my previous video on, on how to uh, like uh, score better in gt you can watch this video using this link which is there here you can watch it okay so thank you